So, of course, the best way in the world would be to sit by every person who is doing a query and ask them, okay, what do you think about? And then try to, to understand that. But that's going to be hard, right? So you have three different options where you can really understand this query. Uh, and here are the three options. So first is really try to understand who is asking uh, the search engine. Like what age, gender, location and the typical demographics. And you can also look into more advanced signals as well, like virtual status, education level, or even home ownership on some countries. So, so with that, you can probably know more about the person asking the question. Then you can, of course, look at the search query itself and, and think about, is it, for example, all the search queries that has a buy in front of them? Probably people want to buy things, right? So, so that is something that, that you know. Or is it just one word or is it three words? Then you can learn a lot from, from that. And start asking you the question like, what is the behavior I see from uh, my most valuable customers? How are they searching for our products? And, and, and how do you, do you find them? So start looking into that. And if you're not running Google Ads yourself or you have an agency that does it for you, start asking them these questions and make them uh, dig into the data so you actually can learn more about this and, and of course, optimize for it. And then the third option is also that start understanding the behavior your most valuable customers has on your site. So really, uh, how can you build audience lists based on certain types of behavior so you can really focus in on getting more of these people in. And if you're extremely good on all of these three areas, understand who, understand the search query and also the behavior on site, I can guarantee you that you will be much more efficient on, on running mm. your, your ads.